Welcome to MLC's very own biogarden. My name is Carrie McLean, and I'm here helping out uh, keep the biogarden here maintained for the next few months. Um, we've been working quite hard in the last couple of months, and we just thought it'd be appropriate to give a bit of a tour to the viewers back home. The last few months, we've kind of been tasked with a new project, which is really exciting. We've been using the MLC biogarden as a bit of a model project for what's happening in the village across the river called Savasion. In Savasion, there's approximately 80 biogardens that are in use there, and what we're doing here is we're trying to use our inside and outside beds to see what plants grow best inside or outside and what months of the year. Here we have six beds. These are our inside beds which we're using for experiment. Um, that's happening in Savasion. So well, we started about three months ago and we plant four half beds every month with lettuce and tomato are the two species we're using right now. We're trying out different techniques of planting so how we can get seeds germinated, whether they germinate and grow better underneath a roof or outside and what season they, they grow the best in. So that's why we're planting something every month is we want to see what grows best when. These cucumbers, which we've been really enjoying in the last week or so, are doing great. We weren't sure how the hanging cucumbers would do. We thought maybe the weight of the cucumbers might uh, dry them down and they would fall off before they're ready. But as you can see here, we've got a big one. It's got quite a bit of weight and they're doing really, really well. And around the corner here is our little nursery. So we've been making use of the egg cartons that come from the kitchen. We eat a lot of eggs here and they come in cartons from Cusco. So um, they also make a really, really good substrate to plant a lot of seeds in. So whenever we get seeds in, we try and plant them right away. So we'll plant one in each of the, uh, the egg compartments. Cool, so here in our shed, which is where we keep all of our tools, everything we need to kind of maintain the biogarden, we have our treasure chest of seeds. So yeah, while I'm here, I guess we can go over our handy dandy map of the biogarden as well. A problem we were having earlier is people were coming in the biogarden and they weren't really sure what was where and what was what. So we decided to make a bit of a map that we can change whenever we need to. So we have all the beds in the entire, entire biogarden outline and we have written down what is in each one of those beds. So when things are planted, we can write it in. When something's harvested, we can take it out. So since it's constantly changing, we can keep track of what's here in the biogarden. Here we have the six outdoor beds that are being used for the experimental garden. Tomato and lettuce are once again being planted here, and these are what we're comparing with the inside beds. Um, it's already showing signs that the inside beds are much more useful in the rainy season, but we're looking forward to the next few months once the dry season comes on to kind of um, do a little bit more analysis. We're also going to continue this experiment for another year, the experiment with the, um, with the tomato and the lettuce to see how it grows so we can apply those methods to all the beds that are in Salvation and hopefully keep people here at the MLC happy, keep people in Salvation happy and um, keep us busy as well.